Hello YouTube, this is Crazy Cool New Yorker coming at you today. <clears throat> oh my. Well, I'm out riding. It's another gorgeous day. When you have good days and it's the fall, you gotta take advantage of it. I wanted to talk about uh the tracking devices. Uh do you guys use these? I use Revere R E V E R. And it basically tracks your ride. Now this is pretty simple. As you can see, I've been riding for 2 hours and 11 minutes. But it tracks your bike. And, so, and all you have to do is push this little button here. Right, you, you can see it's kind of like glowing. But it tracks your bike. And it, it plots your whole course until you, you, know, you stop it. And it can tell you the, the distance, the length, where you roll, and stuff like that. But the cool part is, is it keeps the time, it keeps the miles per hour, but then when you're done, you can actually share it. Because once I'm done, uh, I'll save it, and it, I believe it uploads to so whoever's using Revere can use it. I want to, you know, I think I'm going to take 98. I was going to go to Hudson, New York, but I think I'm going to um, take 98 straight up. And then I'll swing back down. So, yes, it, it, it puts it up so other people can look at it. And I thought that was actually pretty cool because if you're in the area, and let's say, you know, I have my favorite routes that I like to ride. And I'm always telling you guys, you know, you got to do this route if you're trying to do this route or something like that. Or if you see someone, you know, you, you want to do something like that, you wish you could do it. If, with, 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 with uh, excuse me, with Revere, it puts it up. Now, today, I did an update on my iPhone. And it sent me a message stating that with Revere, it would give you turn-by-turn -turn direction voice now on the path that you want to, on the uh, thing that you would like to do. And I thought that was actually pretty cool. Because before, like if you uploaded something, the person would actually have to look at the map and see where you had to turn. I don't think it had a voice by turn navigation. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I just had a little snap. And I had to use the restroom, but I'm back out. So it, it gives you turn by turn uh, navigation, which is cool. So now you can um, get it, you know, do it and not have to go so crazy as like look down and read where you're going and stuff like that. So I actually do recommend it. If you guys, you guys out there, do you use a, a motorcycle tracking device? This is basically the GPS keeping uh a course of where you're riding. Now, as you can see, the road in front of me is white, and then the road behind me is red. And so it's showing the location where I've ridden. Now, so far, I've, I've ridden 63 miles, and it's taken me two hours and 45 minutes, two hours and 14 minutes. Now, yes, that's slow, but I'm not out here on the highway trying to zip anyway. I'm doing a lot of the back roads. And I, I've stopped a couple of times and spoke to some people. I was talking to one gentleman who was giving me a compliment on the bike, because that's where I, when I uh, pulled over to uh, fuel up, he was giving me a really nice compliment. So, do you guys do that? Like, do you use a GPS tracking device for when you ride, so you know where, you know, how far you've ridden, and then you, do you share the route with other riders? It's a really good feature to have, and it's you can download it on your iPhone or your uh, whatever type of smartphone you have. Uh, some people have the Samsung and the Kia and all that other good stuff, which is cool. Uh, but do you use a type of tracking device, a uh, motorcycle tracking device? And if so, would you recommend it to others? Because I would recommend this to, to um, everyone. I don't have a problem with this one. Because it's just basically, I turn it on, it initializes, then I push the little orange button and boom, it's calculated. The only thing I would say 
uh, for anybody using these things is to make sure you're not home. You don't want to start the ride just tracking directly from your house. Because <laughs> the people are going to be showing up at your house and just starting the ride. They pull a little bit away from your house and then push the button. <laughs> so, but I do enjoy it. And it also gives you the speed, your, your lowest speed and your fastest speed. I've used this one myself in the, the, the best one day. We went riding. And I, I didn't start it from, I, no, I did. I started it from where we began. We actually met up at a location uh, in upstate New York. And then we got gas. I believe I started it as soon as we got gas. So it kind of picks up from there. It has us on the Taconic and it has us jumping on 23. We rode for about five hours and change. And uh, I don't know, I can't remember how many miles we did all together. But it was beautiful. And this is also what stops. So the ride has stops as well. I don't know if this will show when you're not, when you stop. So it is showing you everywhere we've been and uh, where the rider has been. But I don't think it shows when the rider stopped. But you'll know. You'll say, hey, he drove in here. So he must be looking at the site. He drove over here. He must have got something to eat. But it is really a good device. And if anyone um, is looking to see the routes that I've taken, it won't say Crazy Cool New Yorker. It will say Doc Wilson. D-O-C Wilson. Uh, it's just a, basically a nickname that my father used to call me. He used to call me Doc. And then some, my middle name is Wilson. So I call myself Doc Wilson. Uh, sometimes so you know that's that's just my silly stuff I've stopped at this gas station plenty of times oh okay but um what if so again what track device the tracking devices do you use and if you use them do you display it for other people to uh do you put it up so is it a type of device where other people can actually pull it up and use it Maybe uh, I will pull over and uh, try to show you the features. I'm not sure if I can show you everything because, you know, my my phone, my camera is mounted on my helmet. I would actually have to take it off and then run through the features of it. But I do like it. And as you can see, it has the compass. Right now I'm heading north because I'm on 9 North. I believe this is 9H North, I think. And, um, but it's a good thing. I like it. And, and once I'm done, I'm going to complete it and uh, put it right up on there so everybody can see it. And again, it's Revere, R-E-V-E-R, -E -E uh, motorcycle tracking device. And it, it's pretty cool. You can download the app on your phone and it's free. That's the best thing about it. It is free. Absolutely free. <laughs> there ain't too many things in this world free. And also, um, when you use these tracking devices or any device that's on your smartphone, there's a feature that allows you to turn it off when you're not using it because it uses location services. My advice to you, turn that feature off. I mean, your phone, fine. But you have like Facebook, uh, Twitter, all of this stuff. When, they are, when you're using it, it puts a stamp on your location. So it's always showing where you are that's not always a good thing so turn that feature off like i have this on but when i'm not using it it's dead in the background it's not showing me it's not keeping a track of where i am when i'm not using it i don't like that feature and it always asks uh you know do you want to turn that feature on when you first download the uh, app it says would you like this uh the location services to be running in the background when you're not using the application. I'm like, nope, turn that bad boy off. <laughs> you don't need to use my stuff. You don't need to know where I am 100% of the time if I'm not utilizing it. Actually on Facebook, I have that on Facebook as well. It is turned off. So I can take a picture and it will show where I am. But once I turn on Facebook, I believe it's off. It shouldn't be showing anything. So, but that's it. You know, this was a short, quick blog. Sometimes you just got to ride more than you talk, you know? And I do enjoy vlogging. Don't get me wrong. I do. But 
sometimes I'm out here to ride. I'm not out here to always vlog. Today is a day to ride. So I'm going to end it with this is crazy cool New Yorker saying ride with your love and love with your ride. Thank you.